Hi, I'm Roger Morgan. I'm an attorney in Mountain Home, Arkansas, and I've been practicing with the law firm of Johnson, Sanders & Morgan since 1985. A wide majority of our practice has been related to real estate, wills, and probate matters. Specifically as it deals with real estate, we represent the t most, if not all, of the title companies in town, numerous realtors in town, and are very involved in real estate issues within Baxter County and really all of the North Central Arkansas area. In, in this experience that we've encountered over the past 40 plus years, it seems to me that there are, are very similar problems that people run into from time to time in their real estate transactions. One of the first things is lots of times people will get to a closing and will not realize that they have a title problem or that they will think that they own a piece of property in what we call fee simple title when in fact they actually have problems with the title. Some of the more common things are, and we see this a lot because we're fortunate in this area, we have a lot of people that move here from out of state and they may have inherited a piece of property from their great grandfather and never have taken the steps through court to actually get the property put in their name. So that's one of the first problems. You need to think, how did I get this title to the property? If you inherited it from someone, you need to make sure that in inheriting the property, you took all the proper steps that Arkansas requires to get title in your name. Another common issue would be if you have uh, been divorced through the years, if you bought the property before you moved here, and you bought it in the name of husband and wife and you've since divorced, you might get to, pro get to the closing, have everything set up where you're ready to sell the property, and property be in both your names, and, and you have been divorced for numerous years. Another issue can be the fact that when you're buying a piece of property, initially we focused on selling a piece of property and the, the importance to know who actually owns that property. However, when you're buying a piece of property, it's very important to make sure that one of our local title companies check out the title for you to provide title insurance to the property to make sure that you get a good insured title so that you are buying the property that the sellers actually own. That's another very important thing to make sure that that is always covered. Along those same lines, when you're doing something like that, before you buy the piece of property, just like I said with a seller, it's important to know who actually owns the property. With a buyer, it's important to know exactly how you want to take title to the property. In Arkansas, if you're married, most people take title as what we call tenants by the entirety, which basically means that you own it jointly with your spouse, so that if a spouse passes away, it automatically goes to the survivor. That's the most common way for husband and wives to own property here in town. The other way that we're seeing more and more common is that people often have a trust when they buy property. If you do have a trust and you're coming into our area and are buying a piece of property, or if you live here and are buying a piece of property, please make sure to have the information available concerning your trust so that we can make certain that you take title appropriately. Because if you have a trust, you're going to take title in the trust and not in your name as an individual. Finally, there's two other ways that you can take title. You can take title as joint tenants, which means again, it's very similar to husband and wife, which means if something happens to one of you, it automatically goes to the survivor. In addition, you can take title as tenants in common, which means you each own a half of the property. If you pass away, your half would then go on to your heirs. If the other one passes away, that person's half would go on to their, other, to their heirs. So it's very important in selling to make sure that you know how you own the property, if anyone else owns title with you. And then when you're buying the property, it's important to make sure that your realtor knows and that you know exactly how you want to take title to the property. Another thing that you're going to encounter when you purchase a piece of property or when you sell a piece of property in Arkansas is almost always the offering acceptance is going to require or dictate that property is transferred by a warranty deed. What that means is when the seller conveys property to you by a warranty deed, that seller is in effect warranting title to the property. The warranties of title run with the property for a period of five years. 
so that for the period of the next five years, they are giving you a warranty as to title to that property. You will also hear the terms fee simple absolute or good and merchantable title. That just means that that person has the very best title that they could convey to you. Now in Arkansas, most all of the contracts for purchase are going to require that it be conveyed to you by warranty deed and that the seller have good and merchantable title or that they own the property as fee simple absolute. When you see those terms in an offer and acceptance, you know that you're receiving the very best title to a piece of property that you can receive. Another issue that we see come up from time to time is that uh, of mineral rights to a piece of property. By and large, in our area, most of the time when you receive title to a piece of property, you're going to receive the mineral rights to that property. However, if you are moving here from a state that is rich in minerals and that, uh, for example, an oil producing state, you are more than likely going to have the minerals reserved on the property that you own in that state. That is very rare in the state of Arkansas to have a mineral reservation. However, if minerals are reserved, it would be reflected on the title insurance to the property and it's something that you might very well want to discuss with your realtor or perhaps even your attorney to make sure that you're getting the very best title possible to the piece of property. When you, when you discuss the situation regarding mineral rights with your attorney or with your realtor, they will explain to you that there is possibly a procedure that you can go through, depending upon how the minerals are reserved, to actually get back all or part of the mineral rights that are reserved on the property. So that is another thing to look at in any time you have a mineral reservation, you don't need to always assume that there's no way the minerals will ever pass with that property. There are many ways to look at it and there are options available to you to attempt to get the mineral rights back. It's not something that can always be done, but in certain circumstances it certainly can. When you purchase the piece of property, you're going to uh, be advised as to how the agent that is representing you uh, is actually involved in the transaction. They will either be, if they are representing you when you're buying a piece of property, they will either be a dual agent or a buyer's agent, and this would be disclosed to you. If they are a dual agent, that always also means that their firm has the property listed and that they are working for both you and the seller of the property, and there are certain disclosures that they have to give to you regarding that and regarding what they can disclose or what they can't disclose to you. However, if you're viewing a piece of property that's listed by another one of our agencies in the Baxter County or Mountain Home area, then in fact your agent would be a buyer's agent in which duties and loyalty is owed to you. And so those are basically the different types of representations that you're going to see in a real estate contract.